Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga and we are back in our kennel and I am so sorry about last time. It was such an amazingly chaotic mess. There were so many things about the game that are a lot clearer to me now after reading through all of your guys' comments and being able to figure out just why I was so confused when it came to the dog's personalities and their specialty areas and everything makes so much more sense now. So thank you guys so much for that. And then just a really quick PSA from me, Siri, like writing right there in my little journal. Please, please, please remember that this is all for fun. Some of the most hostile comments that I have read in a while were in our last video, and I really want to keep this fun for everybody. There was a lot of attacking amongst each other. There was a lot of aggression towards me. You guys, look at these little wagging tails. Don't disappoint the puppies. We can do this. We're going to figure it out, and we're going to have a good time. So that being said, please just relax and have fun, and we're going to figure out how on earth we can pair up our dogs and have some puppies. And thank you guys for letting me know the dogs will only be gone three days when we breed them but it will take four weeks for the puppy to come from the breeder so that makes so much more sense the way I was reading it it seemed like when you pair up your puppies like Max and Stryker for instance if we had paired them up the way I read this it says these dogs will be at the breeders and unavailable for four weeks that to me sounds like they're gone they're not coming back for four weeks but a lot of you guys said they return in three days and then the puppy shows up after four weeks. So I hope that's true and I hope that's what's going to actually happen. I'm a little bit nervous about it but I'm really glad to know that there's a lot of clarity in how we can do the dog breeding and how we can experiment and work with our dogs. So a lot of you guys are also not really big fans of Yuki and confused about why I have Yuki or why I am racing with Harmony and just to explain it to you guys again when I first read the breeding thing and it said like hey your dog's gonna be gone for four weeks what we have to do especially as we prepare for the higher leagues is make sure all of our dogs are equally trained and our oldest dogs like awesome striker and max and domino they're already really really skilled and we have to take our new dogs like harmony and yuki and to some extent sierra she's actually caught up with striker we have to take those two out quite often to race them as well so that we can get their skills up too so that's why i bring the new dogs out so much and that's why striker sits on the sidelines so often because she's already already super super skilled look at her fatigue look at her skill she is awesome and compare that to Yuki so what happens is if we took Yuki out on a big race with us she would completely just fall apart she would start tripping over herself she would get tangled she would just end up being dragged on the ground and the whole team would get tangled and it would all fall apart so you really have to make sure that all of your dogs are evenly strong across the board to be able to have really really powerful upper league races when you have five six dogs out at a time so that's why we've been training them up so much. So that little like public service announcement aside, hopefully that cleared up some of the confusion for a lot of you guys and we can settle in and try to look at another new aspect that has completely spun my head, blown my mind and how our dogs, they have secrets, they have secrets they've been hiding from me, how our dogs actually act and what they actually can do in the races. So in the original version of Dog Sled Saga, the personality they had always linked immediately to what they were most capable in, their natural ability. For instance, Stryker, you can't see her personality anymore either, which I think is kind of odd. So you can, when you get the dog, you can see their personality. But now we have no idea what Stryker's original personality was. But I remember that her original personality was Steady. And in the original uh, version of Dog Sled Saga, Steady was always a natural as a middle dog and that's exactly what happened striker natural as a middle dog but apparently in the new version the aptitude or uh, the personality only tells you where they would be bad at so striker as a steady dog is not very obedient and so she wouldn't be very good as a lead dog she might be pretty good as a wheel dog she'd be able in that position but she's a natural as a middle uh, but knowing that she is a steady dog just tells us okay she'd be a bad lead dog so that completely blew my mind I had no idea that's how the personality has been changed since the update of the game which was a little bit 
ago. I was holding off until winter to race our dogs again. So let's see. Sin Sierra, that is why Sierra, I, she was also a dog that we got who has a steady personality. And so you can once again see that steady personality means that she would struggle in the lead, but that just ruled out one of the two aptitudes or one of the three aptitudes. And that meant that she might be good as a middle. And that's what I thought because that's how it used to be coded. And actually now she's great as a wheel dog, which totally still surprises me. However, we have trained her for so long that her specialty is a middle dog now. She has, I mean, look, she's gone on 18 races as a middle dog. So to change her from a middle dog to a wheel dog at this point would probably be kind of hard. So we'll probably just leave her as she is. But that's why when we come over to Harmony, who also had a steady personality, look at this. Harmony would struggle with the lead, but she would be able in the middle, which again, I thought that steady would always be a middle dog. And she would be a natural at the wheel, which I think is very, very interesting. So now we have to see if Yuki is going to be a really good wheel dog or if she's going to be a really good middle dog. So we have to figure that out as well. Oh my goodness. Can you tell there's like a lot of things going on? So we have a lot of dogs. We have just enough dogs to be able to have breeding. And now I finally have some of the mystery of how to figure out if a dog is a wheel dog or a steady dog sort of laid out in front of me. And then finally, we need to figure out who to breed in what position. And right here we have Domino. He is an obedient dog. So you can see his struggle would be wheel position. So we know he's definitely not for wheel position, but he was a natural as a lead dog, which is again, how it used to be. So that's where I got confused. And then of course, we have Max and Max is a natural as a wheel dog. He's a strong dog. That was his personality. So again, that's where I got confused because the way that the game used to work was perfect for our first three dogs, but that's okay because Max is really, really talented. He's gone on 41 races as the wheel dog and I've accidentally raced him as lead dog three times. And oh my goodness, there's so much fighting in the comments about how to breed these pixelated puppies. Guys, I love it when you're excited about those things, but I saw a lot of people ripping into each other and ripping into me over like how we might breed these pixel dogs. And I love them. You guys know I love being immersed in them, but I just really have to put my foot down super hard this time and say, please relax. We'll probably mix and match the dogs several times. And especially because you guys have helped me realize how I can look at my dogs and see what their natural positions are. I probably won't breed like a wheel to a wheel for for instance, like Harmony and uh, Max, is it Max? No, Harmony and, uh, yeah, Harmony and Max, probably I wouldn't breed together because we want to get a little bit of variety in there, right? We want to really see what kind of surprises we might have with their puppies. So, all right, enough of that rambling. I hope you guys are okay with that. I just needed to really clarify some things because we're trying to keep our community fun and happy and look at all the wagging tails of the puppies. We just want to keep it a really nice time. So I think what we're going to do right now is we are going to work on getting enough money to breed our puppies. We need $3,000 before we can even breed our dogs. So let's go ahead and get ready for another race. We're going to take Yuki on the race, I think, even though it's a really big one. And we're going to try her out as a middle dog next, I think. So we'll take her out and we'll let her race as a middle dog and we'll see what happens then. All right. And I need to go ahead and does any, do any of my dogs? I think some of my dogs need to rest. Yeah, a few of them need to rest. I wish I could hire... I really, really wish I could hire somebody, but it doesn't look like I can. Okay, yeah, these are the only ones who need to rest. So I can't have any more employees at the moment, but that's okay. All right, you're all rested up. You're all rested up. There we go. Domino just needs one more day of rest. Oh, I have so many puppies to pet now. It's adorable. All right, and then let's go ahead and remove. Yuki and Striker can go play. Oh, no, I have so many idle dogs. No. I don't want the rope. A lot of you guys are like insistent that I need the rope, but I really, I need treats more often than I need to untangle my dogs. There we go. All right, there you go, Max. You're nice and happy. All right, so he is rusted. So let's train up Yuki, Domino, Max, and who should be my middle dog? Let's take... Looks like Sierra. Yeah, let's take Sierra so she can work on some of her skills too because Stryker's, Stryker's got a little bit of an edge over her right now. So let's go ahead and we're gonna race these ones. I'm gonna train them up today. And then tomorrow, don't enter it just yet. Then we're gonna give everybody pets. Yay, Yuki is ready to go, you guys. Okay, so let's go earn enough money that we can breed our puppies. This is happening. All right, into the race. We've got all of our pups lined up. Now I need to make sure they're in the right positions. 
And we're gonna try Yuki out right here. And a lot of you guys said if you move them around, then sometimes you can tell like by their exhaustion rate what position they're supposed to be in. But I don't think that's quite how it's gonna work for us this time. All right, good. So it looks like she's, yeah. Oh, there we go. Now I can see their, her personality at least. I guess the personality disappears and becomes aptitude um, once you have them, once you have them out. Like Sierra's aptitude. I think she's just gonna stay as a middle dog because we've already trained her so much as one. All right, so enough rumbling. Sorting out the mess that we've made in the kennels. Honestly, it's like walking into our kennel and just finding the dogs have shredded all the papers and there's just chaos everywhere. Oops, missed him. There's for Domino. Max, I'm sorry, Max. All right, hang in there, Sierra. Oh, you're such a good girl. There you go. Oh, I forgot how she loves perfect catches. Oh, I love racing with our dogs and like re-remembering what each of their favorite things are. All right, we're good there. All right, hang in there, boys. Oh, Domino, I don't think you're gonna get that. I'm sorry. Oh, you did, you lunged for it. I'm so proud of you. Oh my gosh, and look at that. Yuki just caught a tree that hit a tree that I was actually aiming for Sierra on. Oh, Sierra, I'm sorry, she got tired. All right, we've got this, you guys. We've got this. We're gonna earn enough money that we'll be able. We'll be able. Come on, Domino. Come on, ah, I was just not far enough. Oh boy, this is, this is kind of tricky. It's been a while since we've had a four dog race. All right, come on. All right, keeping an eye on Max. He's gonna need a treat soon. Come on, Max. Oh, it's so fun to just mix the dogs up and get to see how they all race with each other. All right, Yuki, are you a natural will dog or are you a natural middle dog? Time to see. I've gotta get Domino his treats. I'm getting really bad at throwing treats to Domino. Oh, sorry, Domino. Now I just bonked you on the head. <laughs> sorry, Domino. Okay, Yuki's gonna need a treat. Max is gonna need a treat. They're doing the lunging thing. That's so awesome. All right, come on, Domino. There you go. We're in first place. Keep it up, everybody. Keep it up. Yes. Oh, and look at Yuki. She's so happy. I totally forgot how she loves being in first place. That's so awesome. All right. Our famous dog, Max. We do have a lot of people who really want to see Max and Harmony have a puppy because they're both into fame. But I guess Yuki kind of likes fame, too. All right, so let's see. Happiness is great, has a victory! And now she has another race as a middle dog, but I don't know if we found her specialty just yet. And I wore Sierra out a little bit by accident. And how much money did we get? <gasps> so much money! You guys, I think that may be enough money. We still have lots and lots of days until more races too. So I think we finally have enough money that we can look into breeding our dogs. And I'm not gonna overthink it too much uh, on trying to pick the perfect puppies. So please don't, please don't get too agitated, but let's see. Max or Domino, I think I wanna breed Max for sure. Max is a natural at the wheel, he's a light eater, his fault is dropping speed, and his favorite thing is petting. Isn't that just the most adorable thing ever? And let's go ahead, um, the thing is I have like lots and lots of natural wheel dogs apparently. And then there's Striker. Um, hmm. I feel like Stryker might be good. She's tangle free, bottomless pit, perfectly timed catches, and she has a really good rapport with Max, and her happiness is great right now. And she's naturally, we may try Max and Stryker, I think. Max and Harmony would be fun, because Harmony's favorite thing is fame, and Max is like our most famous dog. Uh, but she's also a natural at the wheel. Huh, and she doesn't have a stronger relationship with Max. Sierra also has a strong relationship with Max, but I don't know, maybe, um, but then again, maybe if I breed Domino, Domino and, I feel like Stryker and Max and Sierra and Domino kind of match up though. Um, so let's just go ahead and do that. Like I, like I, well, and Domino, I don't have any lead dogs though, do I? Huh, his favorite thing is snow. Let's do Max first, because I want to see if he has a puppy whose favorite thing would be petting. So we're gonna do this, you guys, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous, okay, all right. Breeder's fee, $3,000, confirmed. <gasps> Expect to hear news from the breeder in four weeks, wonderful. They better bring my dogs back pretty soon though, or else I'm really nervous. Look at that, 28 days until we have a puppy. <gasps> That's so exciting. Okay, I really hope people who told me that the dogs will come back weren't lying, or else I am in huge trouble, by the way. All right, well, at least I can train up our, all of our dogs. So there is that. We may have a very awkward team for a little while just because I, I don't have any other choice. Oh, that, oh no, that race that I had lined up disappeared. Oh, and the money didn't disappear yet, what? Okay. 
If people, if people didn't tell the truth about my dogs coming back, you guys, I told you. Look at this. Oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. I don't have a good lead dog. Oh boy. Oh no. What am I gonna do? I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna just have to do our best. Uh, working with the dogs we have. I don't have a natural lead dog. Do I have anybody who's able as a lead? Uh, struggles as lead. Okay, so Harmony would struggle if she was in the lead position. Domino is, oh, that's right. Domino is a natural at the lead. <gasps> you guys, we might be able to pull this together. Sierra is a natural at the wheel, but Yuki is right there. Oh, and I didn't let him rest though. Oh boy, this is gonna be a little, little tricky. I think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have to enter because I need more money and that's coming up pretty darn soon. But yeah, so this is kind of a lesson to all the people who told me that the dog will come back in three days. They did not. <laughs> so I'm really glad we had, we, we have a dog who can line up with each, each position right now though all right so we're gonna swap you guys around harmony at her specialty she's able in the middle um and Yuki's personality is strong I wonder if I should swap harmony over here she's a natural in this spot huh maybe and then I guess dang it that really does give a lot of a lot of credit to Harmony and Max maybe having a puppy in the future because then she might become a specialty right there too um, so I'm not sure. I think, I think I'll put Harmony here and I'll put Yuki right here so I can reach these two quicker and try training them. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna just do a little experiment. Oh no! <laughs> I'm racing against my rival on a day like this. Oh, it's gonna get interesting. And it's so white. Oh my gosh, with all the snow everywhere. That means it's really hard to see when my dogs are gonna need some extra TLC. Oh, fooey. Extra TLC when it comes to their treats. Okay, good, good, good. Perfect catch. All right, D gave the girls some treats a little bit too early there. Oh, I'm so excited to see the puppy though. And you know what? Maybe I was relying a little too strongly on my original dogs to stay like my experts in, in one spot. Oh dear. Come on, wind. No, come on, wind. Oh no. Oh my gosh, I can't even understand what's happening right now. Okay, hang in there, guys. Okay, hang in there, I've got this. And we'll untangle you. This is because we don't have as, as skilled dogs as normal, but I'm going to do my best to see if we can win, especially because we're racing against our rival and somebody got super famous for unknown reasons. I'm gonna just start preemptively tossing things up there to those two. All right, oh, and Yuki's skill just came in into place. Is she a natural in the middle after all? Go, Yuki, go! Oh my gosh, she's so excited. I think she's so excited to be able to pass up some of the other dogs. That may be what it is. All right, her special skill just, or her her need for a perfect treat just kicked in. There's their rival! Come on, guys, come on, we've got this. Let's take him over. Oh, come on! Oh, we were neck and neck! Oh, but that's okay. We did so much better than I thought we were going to. Huzzah! So we learned many things. We learned many, many, many things. Yuki's fatigue capacity is hopefully gonna go up. So fatigue capacity has gone up for Harmony. She now has had one race as a wheel dog. She is now, and then Yuki has had two races as a middle dog and her rapport has gone up with Domino, which will help her to race better with him. And then Sierra is super excited because of perfect catch. She has had 20 races as a middle dog and let's see, oh yay. Okay, we got a little bit more fame going all over the place too. So that's really fun. Who got so much fame earlier? Was it him? Yeah, it was Domino. I wonder what he did to get so famous. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost to the jerk. Ah, uh, that's okay. Most of my good dogs, like my really, really, really skilled dogs are off being, being raced right now. And we definitely need to let Sierra and Domino have some rest now. Oh my goodness, they, they need some time down. But all right, you guys, so I totally flubbed it. Um, in some regards because yeah, our dogs are gone and they're not coming back <laughs> in time for the races uh, or in yeah, they're not coming back in time for the races So they do not return after three days and I'm glad I could at least show you guys that so that hopefully It won't trip you guys up. All right. No, I'm good. I really like my I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with the sponsorship deal I have the sponsorship deals that you take really are just kind of like your your boost and your bonuses for whatever um 
whatever you're happening to do, let's go ahead and reduce the fatigue. We'll do that again. But like if you have a certain thing that you find is really hard, like maybe you're really good at throwing the treats without wasting them, but you have a really difficult time with dilling when it when the ropes get tangled, then that determines how you take your sponsorship dills. So each person plays the game differently and that determines like what you're going to do with your sponsorship dills. There we go. So 18 more days until puppy, you guys. And let's go ahead and learn about Yuki's skill. Charge up. When her skill kicks in, she can be fed extra food for a speed boost. <gasps> That's awesome, Yuki. All right. So we're going to learn more about Yuki too. And let's see. We don't know her aptitude just yet. So I think we need to keep racing her as a wheel and a middle dog over and over again. And then I'm pretty sure we'll learn her aptitude pretty darn soon. So we have a few more races we can take everybody on. And we're actually doing really, really good, even though we're missing Striker and Max, two of our really strong dogs in our team right now. And I'm super excited to see what kind of adorable puppy they're going to have. So thank you guys so much. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.